and he's like this close to me and he's like staring. What's good guys? Welcome to yet another story time. I'm just gonna get right into this because as you see from the title, this is interesting. Okay, so let's start off with a, some pre preface to this. So this dude, he, um, you could tell that in his head, first, he was not right. And I want to first start this off by saying, just because someone has a disability does not make them a bad person. It does not make them, um like weird and you should not be afraid of these people just because they have disabilities they can't help that they're born with it but this guy he had disabilities but it was I don't know maybe his disability made him not be able to understand boundaries this that's what I'm thinking let's jump right into this so first this is a job where I was a supervisor uh, real quick what I would do as I would, real quick, what I would do is, uh, I would just drive a van, so I would drive from lot A to lot B, the people would get out the van, pick up the, uh, brand new F-150s, or usually F-150s, sometimes they'd be cars, we'd drive them to the lot A, and then rinse repeat, so that the people could put them on the trains, and they could get shipped out everywhere, and so, um, the office lady calls me. So there was two supervisors uh, at this time and the person, the other supervisor was off. So, you know, uh, someone calls me in the office like, hey, we got someone new, but I have to talk to you. Usually when there's someone new, I just pick them up, let them jump in, be like, this is my name, blah, blah, blah. You know, see who wants to train them. And she's like, no, like, I got to talk to you before you decide who trains them. And so I'm like, um, Okay, okay that, that's fine. So I go in the office and she's like, I gotta tell you something that this guy, he um, has um, some type of disability and so you might want to spend some extra time training him. I'm like, okay, that's fine. And he gets in the car with us and we have to go fill the oil. So I get uh, two of my best trainers out. And I just wanted to tell them, I was like, hey, like, they told me beforehand, not in front of this guy, the doors are closed, I'm, they're ha helping me with oil, which they really work, because I don't know what I'm doing with cars. And I'm like, hey, the office lady told me, you know, he has some disabilities, so whoever does this is going to have to spend, like, a little extra time with them, especially when it comes to their driving part, because I just don't know how they drive. They drove here, so I think they're fine, but, you know, you might have to be really patient. We'll call this guy that trains him, call him Smuggle. Yeah, there's a story behind that, won't get into it today. And so Smuggle decides to train him, which I appreciated. And so, you know, we get in the van, we're driving, and you know, I tell him that, oh, like, you know, Smuggle's training you. And he's like, okay, this guy with a disability, let's call him, I don't actually remember his name, so let's let's call him uh, Devin. So Smuggle and Devin get in. So how training usually works at this time, it was like, I think for two days or like a day, the trainer would drive you and then the next day, the other person would drive you. So instead, I was going to do, you know, try, you know, show him how everything works for the day and then spend the next two days with him just to make sure he got it. If he got it by day one and a half, then it's like, okay, that's fine. So, I'm a big vibe person, like, the vibe I feel in my stomach when I meet someone is very heavy to me, and so far my stomach has never steered me wrong by a vibe I got off of a person. And so, like, when I met him, I just had this, like, it was weird, like, it wasn't like, um, in preface, I know people with disabilities, like, that doesn't phase me, like, it never bothers me. People with disabilities don't, like... You know, like, it doesn't rub me the wrong way. I know some people it does, but I'm fine with it. Like, it's just them. But this specific time, like, it just felt, like, queasy in my stomach. But I was like, you know what? I haven't ate yet. You know, this could be anything. And so I just, like, let it go. 
So after a couple trips, Smuggler, like, comes to me and he's, like, whispering to me. He's, like, hey, like, this guy's story, like, like, it's wild. He's telling me all these, like, things that, uh... He's into, and I was like, oh, okay, that's good. He's like, no. Like, then at this time, we weren't in the van. Usually, like, people that get in the van first will try to talk to me. This was not it. He, we were talking outside the van. We would take a smoke break. And he was like, no, like, I don't know. He's like, something's off on this guy. I'm, I'm telling you. And I was like, I got a weird vibe, but, you know, we just got to see how it rolls through. The day's going on, and he's starting to talk to more of us, but he's not, like, really shy he was telling us a lot of his business he's like keeps staring at me in the mirror and he's just like chuckling like not chuckling but like almost in a full-out laugh and so I was like what what's funny and he just be like oh, oh, oh it's nothing it's nothing it's nothing and I was like okay because I'm like you know I do that if I remember something I'm like you know, laugh a little bit out loud. Okay, I would play games in the van. We will be together from anywhere to most likely until until the job's done. So we could be there for 10 hours together. We could be there for three hours together. It's just until the job is done. And we would want to stage extra. So that way when we come in the next day, we just keep staging and so we're ahead. I play games and so I'm like talking to people and he's just laughing. He's just telling us random stories that don't make sense because like, he would leave out a lot of detail because I think he's thinking about it too. And that's fine. He starts to tell us about Craigslist and the ads that he puts on it. So basically he's telling us how dirty, he's extremely dirty minded. I'm like, oh, uh, okay, okay, cool. And he's like, no, like I'm very, very dirty minded. And we're like, okay. He's just like, going on and on about how like dirty his mind is and things and so I keep getting off the subject and talking to other people and then I guess he's telling he ended up having two trainers just because like a smuggler his days off landed when we still needed this guy to train so another guy would train him but this is before that and so he starts telling us about like Craigslist and like how he asks girls to do extremely dirty things with him that and usually they're up for it and he starts telling us about this one Craigslist person he got in contact with and they would always meet at a hotel until she had to move away and they did extremely nasty dirty grimy things thank god he didn't like describe anything he just was like it's just really dirty I'm a really really dirty boy and he just like we we'll keep going, and I will tell him, like, hey, you know, let's not talk about that. Keep, you know, that out of work. But that seemed to be the only thing, like, he enjoyed talking about, or even wanted to talk about. Next day, we come in. I think Smuggler, yeah, he, he was still training with him. I found other supervisors there, and I just tell her, like, you know, he's kind of special. It's kind of, like, I wouldn't say weird, but he's weird. Like, he just talks about these things. I was like, you'll see what I mean. The other supervisor's there, and she starts to see what I mean, and she's just like, what the hell is wrong with this kid? But it's nothing like, like, oh my god, you're fucking bizarre. Like, it was like all in good fun type of laughing. And so I remember, because as a supervisor, I would keep my phone on me. I'll keep my phone on me just in case, like, it was an emergency. Or he asked me to look up some scores for a game, and I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. Because I only, like, looked at my phone while I was texting, like, at this time. This is before I, like, would just look at my phone while the other supervisor's driving and play on it. I was just looking at my phone to see if, like, the office lady needed us to look at something or anything like that. I'm on my phone replying to one of their texts. And this guy, almost this whole day, he's been asking me to look up these things. But, like, he listens to the game. With his, he listens to the game with the uh, smuggler in the truck, and so he should know the score. And so I'm replying. I'm sitting in the front seat. This guy, he gets in the van because the two doors are behind me. And I'm in the passenger seat. He gets in the van, and he literally comes over my seat. It's literally this and I am not exaggerating. I leaned back, and I almost like punched him in his face because it was just like, 
I wasn't expecting it. It was just pure reaction. But I, like, stopped myself. And he's, like, this close to me. And he's, like, staring into my phone. I'm, like, I put my phone down. I was, like, hey, what are you doing? And he was, like, what? And looked straight at me. Still this close. I'm, like, back up. And he's, like, oh. And he sits in his seat. Which is, like, the seat behind us is, like, driver's seat, passenger seat. Behind us, I think it's, a like, 12-seater or something. Uh, nine maybe and he's like oh well I thought you were looking at the score I was like I told you that I wasn't going to so why would you I was like first of all if someone's on their phone that's not what you do you don't just lean into their phone that's their personal thing he was like oh okay but you know I actually do the score and I mean you said no but I figured you were just doing that anyway and I was like no I said no <laughs> I was like, just don't do that. Like, you were really too close for comfort, and I do not like that. It a big ordeal, but it kind of was, because it was like, dude, what the hell? Like, And I kept feeling like any time I would look up my phone, even before that, he would like kind of like try to see what's in it, which a lot of people do that, but it's still creepy. Like, it's still weird to me. Like, why are you looking at my stuff? Like, back up. Like, that's just one side story. This time... Uh, it was my day off, which was also one of Smuggles' days off, and so another trainer was training him. We'll call this trainer, we'll call this trainer Kevin. Kevin started training him, but it was my day off. And I was like, at this time we only had one day off. I'm like, thank God, I'm chilling. Skip forward. So the next day and I'm at work. The other supervisor is laughing, telling me things about um, what happened the day before. And so I guess um, he had asked them if he could have a nickname. And they're like, okay, what do you want your nickname to be? And so he started telling everyone to call him Slip. I wish I could tell you that I am just making this story up. I, I really am not. Bizarre, to say the least. And I was just like, oh... That's weird. But you know, the other supervisor didn't think anything of it. She just thought it was funny. But I don't think this guy is joking. Like, in his eyes, like, I can see that there is... He is not joking. Like, he's being serious. Like, it was like the one of those eyes that you look at them and you just see nothing there. And it was, like, creeping me out. Like, I didn't like when he looked at me or anything. I was just getting, like... The vibes were just amplifying, like... Dude, like, there's something not right about this guy. We get in the van, days proceeding. He comes in a little late, but he's, like, still being kind of obnoxious. Even when we try to have, like, just a normal conversation, he keeps turning it purely about sex. And I was like, hmm. Like, whenever it, that topic came up, but usually, like, all of us would kind of share stuff, not, like, too deep, but just a little bit. Because, um, like I said, we play games like Never Have I Ever and things. I just would not say anything. I did not want to play with him in there. It just, like, made me get a weird vibe. And he just kept, like, looking at uh, me and the other supervisor. He would just start laughing to himself and things like that. And I'm just like, oh, God, like, this is so uncomfortable, I guess. I don't know. I think it bothered people, but not as much as it bothered me. Kevin is training him at this time and he's like man hey and he comes up to me he's like there's something not right with this guy and I was like oh well you know the office lady said he has this building he's like no no like we were in the truck and you know I'm he tried to let him drive he was so afraid while he was driving that he made him switch back and so it looks like it's not working out and we were trying to have him do other positions and he would just complain and say he didn't like them and things. And he couldn't grasp how to do them. And so we were trying to figure out what to do. Meanwhile, the other managers, or the managers, were trying to figure out where to place this guy. And it's still awkward as hell to me. Kevin uh, pulls me to the side. He's like, hey, like, I'm starting to like not want him in this van. And like, I'm talking to everyone because this guy he does smoke like it would be air conditioning on our smoke breaks inside um the building and then there was a van we would turn it off and like everyone there was a sitting area where people could smoke 
and people are coming to, to me, like, I don't know why they didn't come to the, I don't know why they weren't coming to the other supervisor either, but I think it was just, I think at the time they just thought, um, the other supervisor was like, just like, that was funny in that case. Like, she wasn't taking, like, it seriously, which I don't blame her, because it's like, you can never tell sometimes when people are being sarcastic or not. So she was just like, whatever, I'm just gonna let it roll right off of me. Which, that's fine, I just, because how I am, I, I just could not. Like, Let's fast forward to about um, almost a week. So it's that supervisor's days off again, the other supervisor's. And I'm driving, and it happens to be, like, we gave him his days off, so one of his days off was this day. Everything's going pretty smooth. And the first trainer, Smuggler, is telling me about, um, just these crazy-ass stories he was telling him. And, uh, he was telling him how, uh, I don't know, I don't know if he makes up stories how he was in the Navy and something really, really bad happened, um, and, like, he wasn't always like that and stuff like that. Like, his mind, like, how he's, like, you know. If it was really in the Navy, I don't, I don't know. I, they're telling me these stories about him or whatever. And this is the thing that had me very upset. One of the guys, Kevin, he was like, yo, like, when I was training him, he said something. He's like, you're not going to like it. I told <laughs> but she just thought it was, like, you know, she just brushed it off. He tells me, while I'm driving, he was like, he told me, he was like, and I'm being like, really serious. He, like, he told me that the reason why he randomly looks at you guys and like starts laughing is because he's thinking about doing like, very like, dirty things to you guys. And he was like, he told me some of the things. And this guy, Kevin, he had been through a lot. Like, He's seen a lot and done a lot, and like in general, like very wise guy. I'm being dead serious. Like he was telling me some of the things like he was thinking about, and that's why he laughs because he's thinking about doing like disgusting things to you. It's, it's disgusting, and he was like, I really like he makes me feel uncomfortable. When he says this, inside I start panicking. He's like, Yeah, and he keeps telling us to ask you to call him slick because I refuse. I was told he asked me, and I was like. No, like, I am your supervisor, I'm not gonna call you that, I'm gonna call you by your name. And he's like, oh, please, please, I just love it when people call me slut, why won't you call me slut, please, everyone else has called me slut. The other supervisor, she calls me slut, and like, would, will joke around with me, it's not serious, you know, just call me slut. And I'm like, no, like, that's, it's weird, I'm not gonna do it, but he just like, but it was very persistent, and so I was like, okay, if you get uh, the managers to call you that, then I'll call you that. He's like, oh, no, 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 because they don't play like how we do, so you gotta just do it. And I'm like, no, you get them to, and I will, because I think it's extremely unprofessional. Um, he's just, everyone, it's not just Kevin, it's not just Smuggler. Every other person there is telling me how this guy is starting to make them feel extremely uneasy. I waited till the end of the day and I tell the office person, because she's the office manager and the other two were like, one of them were outside helping the people load the trucks onto the train and one of them weren't there. Sit down with her and I'm telling her like, I, I can't do this anymore, like this guy is freaking me out. And then I tell her what uh, Kevin said about like how he like, keeps staring at us and he's thinking about like doing grotesque things to us and things like that and she, her face turns red and she's like oh my gosh like like no one said anything to me except he did ask her to ask the higher ups to call him slut and so she's just like oh my god I'll, I'll talk to them I was like okay I was like I don't mind talking to them but like you know I couldn't get into contact with them then and I was like it's just like weird when you want to fire someone that has a disability or something like that you have to submit reasoning so they have to get like statements from everyone else of course don't be like oh well he said she said no just your personal experience with this person and you have to go through this whole deal to get them fired and so while we're going through this ordeal it's just 
more awkwardness and I just could not like have him ride in the van with me like I would turn the uh thing they have the mirror thing whatever it's called I would turn it up so like they couldn't see me and he would I knew he was staring at me and then because he would be like oh hey that's pretty hi and I'd be like oh yeah whatever I'm like just trying to stay calm because when I would look back to talk to people like he would still be like like just fucking piercing his eyes at me like I'll never forget the way his eyes look they're just like blue but they're like just dead inside I don't know how else to explain it. like this guy was starting to make me feel I don't know like I was gonna be a fucking murder victim the day finally comes where everything gets approved from corporate and they're going to let this guy go and of course when we are uh, at the lot B and no one at this point no one else wanted him to ride with them because he that's how uncomfortable he made everybody even the grown men I get a call from the office lady and she's like, all right, we're, we're ready for him because they had a meeting with a lot of people from corporate. And so he's been riding with me this whole time. So it's just like, this time I'm driving in his passenger seat. And so I was like, you know, the operations manager and then want to uh, discuss something with you. And he's like, oh no, I know what this means. I'm going to get fired, huh? Like, no, I don't think so. They just want to talk to you, which I know that... Yeah, you are, but I'm just like, I'm not getting to that. I'm like, oh, no, they just want to talk to you, and I'm driving. And he's like, oh, man, no, I've been through this before. He's like, this is why I hate, like, uh, uh, up, upper people because they just don't understand our humor. They don't understand that we're just playing and things like that. I'm just driving like, fuck, like, like, please get me out of here. I'm taking the back way, like, get, get this guy out of my van. And he's like... Yeah, and he's like, and you know how I know that they're gonna do this? And I'm just driving, like, and I'm like, hmm, like, trying to be cordial, but it's like, oh my god, I don't want to have this discussion, I just want to drop you off and keep going about my day. I'm just driving, he's like, you know, I know that they're going to do this because this is why I got fired from all my other jobs. All of his other jobs was from sexual harassment and this says something the company at this time that i worked for didn't check his references didn't do nothing because if they would have called them they would have figured out that he keep, kept getting fired because he was sexually her sexually harassing people and so that is why other places fired this dude like why what, what in the hell? Why? They just literally, he got there, said whatever. They're like, okay, you're hired. That is not what you do. You check people's references. You check their other, their job history. Figure out what's happening. And then I figured out from the smuggler guy that this guy had, um, I'm going to try to remember it. He has some, um, not a disease, but yeah, some, uh, another disability, which the smuggler's grandma had. And he's like, this disease, like, Whatever it's called, he's like, it makes her hands, like, really shaky to where, like, you know, she can't even, like, hold her, like, stuff to eat. But she also, it makes her have hallucinations. And this guy has that same thing. And guess who didn't check? The managers that hired this dude did not check to see, just check into it, do some research. They're just like, oh, there's obviously something wrong with him. That's fine. And it's crazy because... When you get signed on for there, you gotta take a urine test, which is fine, but they do a full background check on you. They did ran the background and then find none of this? Like, what the? What are you doing? Like, what is your purpose? Why are you even doing background checks if they don't matter? Guess what? You know what doesn't matter? If someone has went to jail in the past year, they will not get hired. But it's like, there could be petty things you go to jail for. You could go to jail for a week. You could get thrown in jail for one day. And that's it. They will, they don't care. Like, you could be thrown in there for one day for some petty shit. And they just like, whatever. But someone that sexually harasses people slides right through that. What, what are you doing? But anyway. So I'm just like, oh my 
goodness. And I dropped this guy off, and I'm just like, like, it's like a breath of fresh air. Okay, real quick, the camera angle is probably all types of messed up now. The uh, battery died. <laughs> Go figure. I dropped this guy off, like I said, ugh, so freeing feeling. And so I'm just like, thank goodness we go about like three trips or something like back to, you know, back and forth. And I see this guy like just sitting outside the building, but not like, cause there's fences around the whole yard. He's not outside the fence, like going to his car and heading home. He's just sitting outside. And so I'm going to pick everyone up and he walks, starts walking towards the van. I'm just like, what the f happened? They didn't do anything like this is just gonna be an everyday type of thing this guy walks up and he's like oh well it's what we thought they fired me i'm like oh man that that sucks like good luck to you and he's like yeah i just i just knew they were gonna fire me because like like i said they just don't get enough humor i probably should have asked them to call me slut and all this i'm just like okay like good but like i'm not trying to be rude so i'm just like oh okay well See you around, man. Like, you know, I'm sorry about that. Like, you know, it's just shit happens. He's just going on and on. If I, people start walking to the van, they're like, how slow down? Because they're like, what is this guy doing back here? And finally, he goes and he walks out and he leaves. I'm just like, thank goodness. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's that. Um, yo, if you guys want to hear more story times, I can talk about that job and a lot of crazy shit that went down. If you want just general things, make sure to like and subscribe and peace out.